Jackson still. Day two, we're at a course called La Sonia Lynx. 1930s build, um, on a lot of top 100 lists. Top 100 you can play, top 100 classic design. Looking forward to it. Maybe on the bad side though, we pulled a pretty cool day. It's uh, about 50 degrees, a little breezy. Hopefully no showers. Corey is appropriately bundled up. <laughs> Absolutely, man. <laughs> it's chilly. <laughs> All right, so hopefully we'll get some good swings here and warm up. But uh, looking forward to this course. We've read a lot of good things about it. All right, got a little bit of a rain shower coming in. Start the first hole. Corey's going to lead us off. If he can swing with all that gear on there. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, Third right? is a par 4, 407, dog leg right, and you can't really see the fairway. So the um, aiming line is that telephone pole out there, kind of on the right half of our pitcher. So let her rip, huh? Let her rip. All right, fellas, have fun. Good hit. Should be all right. Just a little, little cutty. Right side of the fairway. All right, stand smooth swing. Might as well hope for an early Christmas and yep, absolutely. Everything else. Jingle bells and harps and all that. Oh no! Popped it up. It's a high fly ball into deep right field. Into the fescue. First shot. Hit it where you don't want to hit it. Good. All right, after that uh, that nice tee ball, Stan's got 184 into the flag. It's really kind of an interesting look. There's a big bunker in between him and the green. No issues. Nothing. Nothing at all. Out of the fescue. A little heavy, but it's going right at the hole. Run up there. I think I'm just short. Yeah, not bad. All right, Corey stayed in the right side of the fairway. Got a good look at the pin here from 166. What are you hitting? Six iron, because it's cold and there's wind in my face, and I'm old. Oh, nice, that's going right at it. That looked pretty nice. Just saying. Ready? Okay, so Stan came up about 12 yards short, and he's probably got another 10 yards to the flag. Popped it up nicely, and hit it release. Pretty good shot, though. Thanks. Nicely done. All right, Corey's right on the front fringe. Probably got a, I don't know, 30 foot putt. Yeah, 30, 35 maybe. Got to see a little bit of the break from my chip. Get up the hill. Whoa, that broke the other way. Corey for the par. Nope. Wow, broke quite a bit. All right, Stan, hit the ball. You're talking while I'm recording. Oh, nicely done pelted that thing a little all right Corey shed a layer gonna slam this one. Oh, nicely hit right down the center line good ball thanks all right it turns out that uh, you want to be a little right of what we thought so Corey just ran into the rough cost him some yardage a lot of yardage So he had about 210 in the middle, hit hybrid, running it up there. Going to be a little short. All right, Stan pelted his tee shot. He's got 137 to the hole. It's downhill, a little bit of tailwind. What are you hitting? I'm hitting pitching wedge. Pitching wedge? Yeah, I got over that ridge and it must have just rolled forever down the slope. Ready? All right. All right, try this pitching wedge. Hopefully get it on the green. It looks good. Going right at it. Going right at the flag. A little deep, not bad. Good shot, actually. Thanks. 
All right, Corey came up about oh, 15, 20 yards short of the green here. I got 40 yards to the flag. 40 yards to the pin, all right. Yep. Only probably on five or 10, so. Yeah. Looks like a good pitch. No, I just released past it. No spin. Wow, no bite. All right, Corey ended up, oh, 25 feet past the pin here. Coming back down off the side of this knob, so I think there's going to be a fair amount of break. Wow. And a couple more feet than he figured. Yeah, Just I was playing though. three feet left. Yeah, that was close. All right, Stan's got about a 20 foot putt downhill from that knob. Great speed, nice putt. <laughs> All right, Corey's got about four feet clean up here on number two. Oh, ah. vicious lip. Okay, the third hole is a par four. It's 367 yards. It's a dog leg right with a big bunker on the right hand side. 235 to cover the bunker on the right if you want to try and fly it over or you just play the fairway around around the bunker Stan's yeah, gonna hit a three wood three wood hopefully well left of that bunker Oh not that far it left. was well left. Oh my goodness Yep off in the fescue all right, Corey's taking driver. Yep, just left of the 150 marker. Yep, a little further left than I wanted. Yeah, probably run into the edge of the rough, but maybe not. No, nope, like stay in the, the fairway. fairway. All right, so Stan ended up in this fescue kind of bramble. He's got 200 yards to flag, a little wind in his face. He's going with a five iron. Yeah, see if I can hit that opening over there in the left half of the green. I think I can get the club on the back of the ball here. <clears throat> uh, a little heavy. Oh, it's, right. it's going to be in the bunker. Yep, yep. The bunker right. All right, Corey's in the left side of the fairway, 163 in, going six iron. Oh, and I tugged it. Well, it's not fading. Uh-oh, left of the pin, I think there might be, or left of the green, there might be another bunker. All right, Corey caught this little uh, serpentine-shaped bunker on the left side of the green. Got about six feet of elevation to get up to the green. Yeah, I think it's closer to eight feet, but... And then it probably runs away from us. It's no bueno. It, it's hard. <laughs> Looks good, I don't know. All right, Stan's got a good 10 feet to elevate to a fairly tight pin. We'll take it. All right, Corey's bunker shot came out a little hot. Ended up running off the other side of the green just barely. Oh, wow, that broke a lot. Wasn't a bad looking roll. All right, Stan's got himself about a 10, 12 foot putt. Downhill, a little sidewinder. Yeah, it broke. Broke a lot. All right, fourth hole is a par four. It's 175. Par three. Par three, 175, <laughs> uphill. And there's a severe kind of cliff that defends the front edge of the green. And all the left side, I think. Yeah. It's going to be short, but it's online. 
Oh, you're putting. Turn edge. Ready? All right, Corey's going with uh, six iron. Six iron. Six iron. Six iron. Hit it nice, but left it out, going right at that house. Uh, gonna be right of the green. All right, Corey found the right green side bunker. This one's only about five feet of ridge to get over. Ah, got it out, but didn't quite get there. So Corey's bunker shot on the right was no fun, but on the left over here, it's much worse. There's got to be about 15 feet to get up that slope out of the bunker. All right, Corey's just got a chip from off the collar. Or putt. Nice run down there. Good pace. Run up there. Good putt. Yep, okay, Stan's got about uh, about six feet. Oh no! Corey's got basically the same putt I had. Hopefully he'll get it to the hole. Got it to the hole. All right, fifth hole is par five, 475, downhill. Looks like a fairly tight uh, landing area for the tee shot. Semi blind, looks like you just need to make a field wheel between those uh, near set of trees. Yep. That's what I'm going to try to do. Ah, it's drifting a little right. All right, be off the fairway, but okay. All right, Corey's also trying driver. Oh, nice hit. Good shot. All right, Corey's drive ended up nice on the left side of the fairway, 228 in. Hitting uh, 18 degree hybrid. Nice hit. Just right of the pin. That could be really good. I think I'm on. All right, Stan's <coughs> got about 212 yards in. He's going to hit five iron. Got a bit of a hanging lie here. Yeah, definitely a downhill lie. See if we can get this one going straight. Yep. Nope, pushed Off it. Off to the right. There's yeah, a big the tree. old tree over there. Ooh. And he got a woody. So one of the characteristics of this course is there are a lot of severe mounds. We're 85 yards from the green and he's got an impossible shot. Ah, he, he elevated enough. Pretty good shot from there. <laughs> yeah, so Stan hit it into this tree and it's a very tall and kind of expansive tree. And so his ball is sitting under here, and literally he has no shot to get it at the hole. I got 70 yards, but I have to go over this big knob, and at the base of the knob is a sand trap. Yeah. And I can't go up because of the branches. So I figure I got two chances here. Hit a hard line drive and try to run it through the trap. I want to up, see up the hill. I want to see that. Or I pop it up and hope I don't hit anything except some light leaves. Or the third option is to take the more open path over this way in front of the green. But you're, you're Stan, talking, Stan would never consider that option. I considered it. It's just not a good option. So, all right. I think we're going to run it through the, maybe not the trap, but try to run it up the slope. Okay. So you're going to hit it hard right into that slope. That's, that's a fuzzy, wet, rough. I have to hit it hard. Okay. <sighs> what are you hitting from here? Five iron. Five iron. Uh-oh, he cleared the ridge. <laughs> he cleared the ridge. 
and oh, off the back. No. <laughs> All right. Okay. So stands about 10 feet below the green surface, hitting his fourth shot. He actually hit it pretty well. It's rolling to about 15 feet. That was actually a pretty good shot. After that nice second shot, Corey's got about 25 feet here for Eagle. Come on, run out. They really are. All right, Stan's got himself about a 20 footer. It's going to have some bend to it. Over the hill and through the river. Oh, turning hard. Yeah, turned too much. Yeah, got about three feet. Nice putt. All right, Corey's got about five feet here to convert the birdie. Ah, broke a little too sharp. Good par. All right, what is this, six hole? Six hole, par four, 407. 403, 407. 403. Uh, can't see a lot of the fairway. We know there's a green or a fairway bunker on the left, and the fairway runs downhill. So I'm going to aim over that knob you can see and hope to avoid the fairway bunker. And we have no idea exactly where that bunker is. So I'm going three wood. Just because. Ah, kept it low. I pulled that. That's going to be over in the territory of that bunker, I, I think. I think that might be bunker. Corey's also going three wood. Yes, sir. Nice hit. We think that's a good line. Go when you're ready. All right, Stan ended up in the rough. Ball's sitting up okay. He's got about 170 to the flag. What are you hitting, seven iron? I'm going eight iron. It's a back pin, and uh, I just kind of want to get it on the green. All right. Well struck. All right. right, got it all the way back to the hole. I like that. Probably 15, 20 feet to the cup. All right, Corey found the left half of the fairway. Right behind him, you can see these fairway bunkers that we were worried about off the tee. So it looked like a good move to hit three wood, stay short of those. What do you got in now, Corey? You got 166 in. I'm going to hit a seven iron. Oh, no, it's going to end up on the left shelf. Sit down. Oh, it's on the left half of the green, but it looks like there is a big uh, elevation difference yeah. from the uh, left half to right. Shoot. Everything. All right, Corey ended up almost on the same level as the pin, but he's got 30 or 40 feet and a big mound to his right that's probably in his way. Not sure how he's going to get to the pin. Oh, that's a nice play. Came up a hair short. Good play. All right, Stan's got about a, I don't know, 15 footer coming down the hill. Yeah, about 15 feet. Definitely got some break and it's definitely downhill. <laughs> that was aggressive enough. Good putt. <clears throat> All right, Corey's got uh, about four feet here for his par. 